next morning, I finally tracked the specials down to Two Tone HQ, home of the hits. Next to the poodle parlor, the note said. At last, a chance to meet the board of directors of the fastest growing independent record label in the country. the assault on the nation's airwaves was planned with a unique mix of punk and reggae. Self chart bust effectively. This is it. This is. I mean, this is great. We've got an office in London that does all the live work and that, but the. all the. Uh, this is where sort of two tone. This, this is my desk. Hang on, I'm showing them around the office. Here we have the checkbooks. The receipts. Um, Oh, hang on. <laughs> I think this is our Bernie Road contract. <laughs> no, we've got loads of contracts. <laughs> Chrysalis contract. Oh, that works. <laughs> that works. <laughs> This is our A&R department. <laughs> These are the tapes that people send us. As you see, we've been inundated. <laughs> 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 oh my God, you Oh my God, This is what we listened to, man. This is how the beat came to fame. Um, and what else is there in the office? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and this is the uh, wardrobe. <laughs> All second hand gear, very nice too. Nice piece of mo hair. <laughs> Alright then, what's the mood boy? I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. I'm a rude boy. <laughs> right, I will answer your question. A rude boy is just a rugged ruffian. <laughs> Rough like that time itself, right? They get into trouble. It's just like some uh, young boy over here now, England. Um, they get into trouble breaking into houses and you know, just vandalizing place and setting place on fire. Well, when they get to about, say, 16, and they're doing little things a bit heavier than that, that's the rude boys, or you could class rude boys in the way of skinheads now, but not the skinheads go around now fighting, but the rude boys, they didn't have to fight unless there was something to fight about. But um, the, the way of dressing was short trousers, and short sleeve shirt, or just a shirt, or t-shirt, or whatever, or jeans, short jeans, or shoes back I broke down. Just walking down the street, the was bugger all. See, that's something that's put across in quite a lot of your songs, though, isn't it? Like. To keep out of trouble, about, you know. I mean, what about a message to Rudy? I mean, is there any particular reason that you wanted to cover that? Uh, I mean, a message to is, is a message to um, all the roadies, you know, that they should keep out of trouble because you're not worth it. In the long run, you just feel it, you know, it's, it's, it's not worth getting into trouble. So it's a message to all the kids who go out and cause trouble. <laughs> Thank you. 
within it and it also there is a, a focal point more for the drummer although the public don't really bother about about it so much you can do more you know you can do more uh, <laughs> what about some of the lyrics like um it sort of seems to me like there's two things running through one of them is sort of very much anti-violence i mean sort of mindless violence like message to rudy and concrete jungle sort of both very against that sort of thing what are your feelings about that? Like some of your gigs, like you've had some Hungry jungle, some trouble. Well, but you didn't. Ruddy, ruddy. What? How did you come to like that? You know, like, this part living in a rough part of town, that's all. Going out and getting beaten up. Nice. Is that sort of stem from personal experience? Like? Yeah. You write songs about things you, you feel yourself, or you, you know. 